Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Picture Fun. Today we are going to learn how to make amazing fantasy scene or how to create amazing god look scene in Photoshop. So let's begin our tutorial. First we are going to take a new document. So just click on file, then go to new and then take any of the size. You can customize your size as per your work and make resolution 300 because this one is very important then press create or press enter button so your document is ready now we are going to arrange the background so these are the sky image so first we are going to take this one i will take this one first just use rectangle marker tool for selection and simply drag and drop this one in your new document so this one is placed Increase the size of your sky. So I think I think this this one is perfect for this place. And take a little bit more. So this one is okay. Now we are going to select our model. So where it is? So this is our model, and we are going to select this one by using pen tool because this one this one have so many difficulties area so we are going with pen tool this one make manual selection so start your selection so when you complete your selection just zoom out your image by pressing ctrl minus and then right click and go to make selection and and make feather radiation zero then press ok so your image is selected now we are going to place this one in our new document so simply drag and drop this one in your new document so this one is placed and adjust the size of your image and go to edit transform and flip horizontal And again zoom your image by pressing ctrl plus and we are going to remove this area so just go to laser tool and simply select this area no need to find selection and simply press delete key also do the same thing with this one and simply press delete key then deselect this one by clicking on selection select and deselect this one so both are deselected and we can see that the image is placed perfectly now we are going to add more images such like this one so go to again rectangle marker tool and select this sky image and simply drag and drop this one in your new document so this one is placed in that portion so this one is placed now we are going to take a mask layer go to brush tool and increase the size of your brush and adjust the opacity and apply this hundred percent and apply this area so this one is perfect now we are going more images to provide amazing fantasy look so I'm going to add this type of image so this one is in normal mode and set this one in blend mode so blend mode go to screening mode and you can get this effect now we are going to add some hair so you can see that these hairs are these are already i give the link in description you can download this hair through description so these are just placed some of this type of hairs 
you can see that you can download directly from description the link is already provided so this one is almost done and we are going to these are the hair you can use this one so this one is the one of texture and simply drag and drop this one and make this one as a blending mode and select screening mode so place this one where you want to place or uh, its look more better again duplicate this one one more time so it's look little bit fiery look and now we are going to give a spark look so this one is the spark and simply drag and drop this one and increase the size of this spark areas and do the same thing go to blend mode and select screening so this one is almost done and add little bit stones to provide some special effects So this one is done and again go to your sky image and duplicate this one and place this one in the upper layer. And go to brush mask make opacity 10% and adjust the size of your brush and apply this. duplicate also this one so we can see that the fantasy look is almost come out and we are going to add some extra images to complete this work so what we have to add on this image we just add so we are going to provide some more image such so like we are going to try this one first once the results come out if it looks we will keep this so just increase the size of this one and place this one behind the model look not so good just delete this one we are going to take this different images so i think this one match a little bit adjust the size this one is almost look good and then do the same with the other image just drag and drop this one and adjust the size of your planet image and place where you want to pull this one so this one is also look pretty good and again take another image or we are going to take this dragon image and simply drag and drop this one and do not make like this just increase the size of your dragon image make little bit bigger this one this time
zoom out so this one is placed and we are going to use mask layer and remove this feather so this one is almost done and it look amazingly good and we are going to place or we are going to arrange the color of our work so just go to adjustment layer select color balance and adjust the color of your work make this one duplicate to make little bit more brighter and again make one more duplicate to place sorry place this one in upper side and take this one in that portion adjust the size and place this one in that area again duplicate this one and do the same thing with this group so this one is completed and now we are going to add our final touch so first we are going to take a new layer go to brush this program make foreground color black this one is perfect or we are going to make this one 15 percent and make this one little bit gray and apply in that portion So the grey look is spread away and this one is make your image again zoom and zoom out your image and go to go to mask the complete layer in one layer just holding shift control alt plus e so the whole layer is margined one layer then duplicate this one this one is just for backup and go to filter select camera raw and adjust the color tone or split tone and then go to effects and decrease this one priority highlight priority decrease this one midpoint is in perfect condition increase little bit sharpness and increase the split tone so first we are going to highlighted area increase the highlighted area like gray or a little bit yellow and shadow area make little bit blue or you can also choose this yellow color so this one is almost done then press ok and again take nick collection and select color fx pro so the color is visible so great just increase the size of or increase the strength of color like 50% and increase the shadow and also decrease the highlighted area and then press ok
again duplicate this one go to photo filter first click on adjustment layer and go to photo filter and 50% gray is in perfect so then press ok and again take a new layer go to edit go to fill and take 50% gray then press ok then just set this one in soft layer and again take new layer go to gradient and select neutral colors and just select this one uh, here we are. I'm going with I'm going with this one so the effect is completed fill and decrease the fill option so your work is done hope you like this tutorial if you like this tutorial please subscribe my channel see you soon with new tutorial